Hello everyone, welcome to our special techno channel. In the previous session, we examined the SQL filters in detail. In this session, we will introduce the combining multiple operators with a particular focus on logical operators in detail. For more information, watch the rest of this video. In the web feature service or WFS filtering of Joe server, you have the ability to use logical operators to combine multiple conditions in your filter. These logical operators include AND, OR, and NOT. By combining these logical operators with various filter conditions, you can create complex queries to retrieve a specific data from the WFS service in Joe server. Here are some examples of how to use these operators in WFS filtering. AND the AND operator is used to combine multiple conditions into a single filter expression. It requires two or more operands, which can be either predicates or other logical operators. The resulting filter expression only matches features that satisfy all of the specified conditions. As an example of using this filter in WFS get feature request, navigate to the demos page, then select demo requests. From the request section, select the WFS underline get feature 1.0.xml request. Now let's edit the codes as you see on the screen. Click on the Submit button. In this example, we apply the filter to the layer where the value of the land underline came attribute is less than 100,000 and the persons is greater than 5 million people. The results include three states, Massachusetts, New Jersey, and Indiana. Now let's use SQL filtering to apply the equivalent of this example. To do this, start by previewing the top column states layer in the layer preview section. Next, add the desired SQL filter to the URL of the layer. Or, this operator allows you to combine multiple conditions and retrieve features that satisfy any of the specified conditions. In simpler terms, at least one condition must be true for the filter to be considered a match. Here is an example of how to use the OR operator to filter a WFS layer based on two conditions. Now let's edit it as you see on the screen. Click on the Submit button. In this example, you filter the layer to display features that meet either of the following conditions. The value of the land on the line came attribute is less than 100,000 or the person's attribute represents a population greater than 5 million people. The results include 25 states.
Let's apply a SQL filtering to the same example and observe the results. Not. Each of server, the not operator, also known as the logical negation operator, is used to invert the meaning of a filter expression. It takes one or more filter expressions and return features that don't meet the specified conditions. Here is an example of using the not operator for filtering a WFS layer by two conditions. Click on the Submit button. In this example, you filtered the layer to show features that don't meet any of these conditions. That is, neither the value of the land on the land KM attribute is less than 100,000, nor is the value of the person's parameter more than 5 million people. The results include 24 states. To see how to use the NOT operator in SQL filtering, follow the example shown on the screen. If you are enjoying the video, I would really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel, like the videos and share it with your friends. This will help you and others to improve your skills and benefit from these valuable resources. Thank you for your support. Combine Operators GeoServer provides the capability of combining logical operators with geometric filters, enhancing the flexibility of WFS filtering. This feature enables users to create more specific and reliable filtering criteria. Let's delve into an example that effectively uses both special and comparison operators for filtering purposes. Click on the Submit button. In this example, we filtered out the states with population exiting 10 million as well as the states intersected by a line string with given coordinates. Thus, we identified New York and Pennsylvania as the two states that satisfy these conditions. To see how to use SQL filtering for this example, follow the instance shown on the screen.
As a final example, let's explore a comprehensive scenario that incorporates different operators. This example includes a special operators such as the within filter. Additionally, it showcases two comparison operators, namely properties like and properties greater than. Moreover, we will see two logical operators, specifically the AND and OR operators in action. To better understand these concepts, let's try executing the example as shown on the screen. In this example, we use WFS filtering to extract the states that are completely enclosed within a specific coordinates. Moreover, we retrieve states whose state name includes the letters NA or whose step fifth value is greater than 30. Therefore, we have identified three states that meet the specified criteria, Tennessee, Indiana, and Ohio. To view how to use the CQL filtering for this example, follow the steps shown on the screen. In this session, we examine the combining multiple operators in detail. If you would like to gain proficiency in Joe server software from beginner to advanced level without any cost, please subscribe to my channel, watch the videos, and share them with your friends. Also, if you'd like to know more information about the SQL filtering, we recommend you to watch the suggested video. Have a good time!